Greetings, friends, and welcome to the Make the Best Choice channel. I'm your host, Dan V. Today, we're going to talk about a very critical topic that is very relevant and timely after the loss of uh, scores of people in the Guadalupe River in Texas. Weather is a part of our lives. We live in it, breathe it every day. One of the most important things we can do to protect ourselves during severe weather is have good information. The best source of that information, for that information, is the National Weather Service. And all around the USA, there are weather service offices. There are transmitters that transmit weather information available free to everybody. You just need to have the right receiver to be able to receive it and a specific kind of receiver to get the emergency warnings in a timely fashion. So we're gonna to talk today about those receivers and which ones you should buy, why you should buy it, and why you don't wanna depend on things like your mobile phone strictly, solely for getting emergency weather information. All right, so there are basically three kinds of weather radios. I'm gonna use this one. This is actually a walkie-talkie. Very cheap, Baofeng walkie-talkie uh, you can get on Amazon for $20. Well, it covers a broad frequency range, and it also covers the weather channels. All right, well, there are seven, four plus three, seven, seven weather channels available from the National Weather Service. Again, all around the country, they have high-powered transmitters that cover almost the whole country. And uh, you can tune in and get the latest forecasts uh, for today, for three days, for a week, whatever. You can get specific forecasts for snow conditions if you live in the mountains or going to the mountains, the marine forecast if you're on lakes or on the sea. But the Weather Service provides to us, as a part of this service, specific broadcasts that are aimed at emergency weather situations. So the three types of weather receivers are this one. I'm going to use this one, this little Baofeng walkie-talkie, $20 or whatever, to represent the first kind. The first kind is basically any receiver that can receive the weather channels, the seven weather channels, 162.400 megahertz to 162.55 megahertz. And this is one of those radios. So. Here's a little bit of information about flood precautions from the Weather Service. We're expecting some severe thunderstorms, as I'll show you in a minute. Here, there's already a, a watch out for severe thunderstorms, and with those, often come flooding. So this is just a simple walkie-talkie. I'm on 162-400 Baltimore transmitter, Baltimore, Maryland, not far from my home. There are many, many receivers like this. You go to Amazon, you go to Walmart.com, whatever you're gonna see dozens and dozens and dozens of receivers that claim they can receive the weather frequencies and most of them can. The sensitivity varies, the quality varies, they can receive the weather broadcasts, but that's it. What you hear is what you get and there's no alert system, there's no warning system, it's just for listening, which at times may be all you need if you want a local forecast or whatever. But for emergencies, you're gonna want something better. The next step up from this I'm going to use this Sea Crane Skywave radio from the Sea Crane Company in California. This radio is excellent. In fact, I'm privileged to say I was working with Sea Crane for many years, and I was uh, able to give the name for this radio, the Skywave. It co covers AM, FM, shortwave, the airband for receiving airplanes and air traffic controllers, and then also the NOAA weather radio. And it has an alert function. So the basic alert message that's sent out by the Weather Bureau is a tone, 1,050 hertz tone, do something like that. Don't know how far off frequency I am. But anyway, and so it will open up the speaker in this radio, and then the broadcast will come through. This is the National Weather Service. We've issued a blah, blah, blah for this, this, that. And then it will stay on. But that's all it can do. That's So if you're in an area where, let's say, there's a severe thunderstorm 50 miles to the north of you. The Weather Service may be specifically sending that message out for 50 miles north of you. And the, the thunderstorm may not be anywhere near you or maybe flooding north of you and you're not in a flood zone. So it can't distinguish the types of warnings and the location. It's just a very simple alert activated by a tone that turns on the speaker. Again, there are dozens of radios like this that have that NOAA, N-O-A-A, NOAA weather radio feature. So 
the type of weather I'm recommending today, and I want to insist if you have any need for a weather radio for emergency purposes to let you know, uh, I would recommend the same weather radios. Same stands for specific area messaging, specific area message encoding. And what it does is it overcomes the deficiencies of those first two types of weather radios. And the walkie-talkie I showed you, it could be a crank-up type emergency radio. All it has is the seven channels, no alert. Oh, there's a lot out there like that. Limited usefulness, really, because what happens is with the first two types of radios, what we call alert fatigue sets in, where there's alerts going on all the time and you're not interested in them. They're not, they don't apply to you. But every time the weather service sends out that tone in the second version, right? This one, this like the CC radio, which represents a lot of radios that have the alert function. It'll turn on the speaker, but the alert may not apply to you at all. So the type of weather radio you want to look for is one that has the same specific area message encoding. And that includes some great features. Not only will it allow you to limit the area that you want the messages for by county, it also allows you to set the alerts so that, for example, maybe you don't want just advisories. And I'll show you on the radio in a minute, actually two Midland radios, the types of alerts that are available. Maybe you don't care about an advisory. Maybe there's a flood advisory, but you're not in a flood zone or it doesn't apply to you. Um, and maybe you really, most of the time, you don't want to be alerted to um, watches, okay, the three types of alerts from the Weather Bureau, NOAA Weather Radio, National Weather Service, are advisories, watches, and warnings, depending on the severity. So, for example, let's use tornadoes as an example. Maybe there's a tornado advisory, which means there's a possibility tornadoes, tornadoes might show up, usually in the afternoons or evenings. Uh, if there's a watch, it means there's a pretty good probability that tornadoes might be on the way. If there's a warning, then we really need to pay attention because there's a high probability that a tornado could come to your area, to your county. But you can set the same message, the specific area message, by county. So let me show you one of the radios that I recommend, the WR Whiskey Radio 120B, or it can be whatever letters after it. So this is probably one of the most popular uh, NOAA weather radio. There are thousands of them out there made by Midland and uh, it has the basic features you need. If you can see carefully, we'll put right up to the camera here, the watch light is going on and off and it's telling me on the display that a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect right now here in just south of Baltimore where I live. And I looked on the weather radar, sure enough, in the distance to the west, you know, most of the weather in the U.S. travels from west to east. So there's in the southwest area south of us, in the southwest area south of us, southwest of us, there are some storms that are brewing up. They're scattered right now. We don't know what the end is going to be. So we're under a severe thunderstorm watch. All right. If they're imminent, then it will go to severe thunderstorm warning. And on the weather radar, there's different blocks that will show up uh, if you want to see those for yourself and see how that works. So if, uh, for example, if there was a tornado watch, I'm going to be on the alert here. If there's a tornado warning, we're going to take steps to prepare for it here uh, and try to watch on the radar at the weather service and uh, AccuWeather and maybe on TV to see, well, is this thing going to come close to our house? How prepared do we need to be? I live in a condominium. And uh, our preparedness for tornadoes would be to go to the center of the building in a protected stairway the fire, the, where there's firewalls and uh, not all the way down to the first floor because, which is normally what you might do, but there's windows. There's two doors with windows on that first floor. So probably the second floor is where we would go in our four-story building here. Again, this is the radio that you want to look for. Any radio that has SAME, same capability, now, there's not that many of them. If you search on Amazon, there's not that many. And among the abundance of them, I saw a couple of Chinese-made ones, um, which they may work just fine. 
but I can't recommend them, number one, because I haven't tried them yet. Number two, because they're probably not going to have one of these, a good English manual. Now, these radio uh, radios with the same capability, weather radios, they are a little bit difficult to set up at the beginning. You got to go through some menus and you got to make decisions on what counties you want the alerts to come uh, from. And then you also have to decide what severity you want. Do you want the alarm to go off at advisories, watches, or warnings? And then you can also set up so that all that turns on is a light. And you can even connect external uh, alarms or lights if you don't want to hear that sound. My wife wasn't too happy in the beginning when I started uh, using these radios. This one actually I got at a ham radio swap meet for $3. Yeah, you can get them at electronic swap meets sometimes. And another one, this one actually I bought for $5. This is another Midland weather radio with more features. It's got an FM radio in it. It also has the capability uh, to switch something on and off in the back. You can see those terminals in the back, so you could turn a light on and off, a strobe, uh, a buzzer, whatever. Uh, but I'm trying to keep the noise down here. Uh, it doesn't bother me that much. But so I have it, this one, this radio set. So when the alarm is triggered for whatever advisory watch or warning that I have it set for, that uh, it will come on, the alarm will come on, and a loud sound, loud tone will go for just eight seconds, and then it will switch off and then it can go just play the audio. There's several different options without alarm, without audio, or just the lights here on the front. Um, so again, look for weather radios with the SAME capability. Unless you just want to listen for general purposes to the weather broadcast, uh, I, I would stay away from the other classes of radios that I showed you. The one with no alert capability, just a basic radio, which there are many of those out there, and then another with the NOAA weather alert. Now, also, please, 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 please do not depend alone on your phone, all right? Don't depend on this for timely weather alerts, especially those that live in tornado areas or areas where there's flash flood potential or areas where severe weather is possible. Uh, don't depend on your phone to give you these, inf these this information. Number one, your battery might go out on your phone. There could be other issues with your phone. You're out of out of coverage area. Another thing is uh, you could actually uh, have no network. Okay, let's say you're you the storms are west of you. They're moving to the east as they usually do. Maybe the power is, gets knocked off, and uh, there's no cell sites working. So you can't depend on the cell network. It could be off the air, do especially like a tornado that uh, might impact the cell site. So don't depend solely on your phone. It's nice they send these alerts to us on the phone, it's good. But I would say have us a, a primary source of information and alerts, have a weather radio uh, like this with the SAME capability. All right, I'll have some links for you down below to further information, further suggestions. If you have any questions, please, Comment down below and I'll answer everybody's questions. Uh, uh, again, I love radio, I love weather, and I love questions about both topics uh, because it's one of the things that's been a joy of my life, both of the, uh, the weather and radio as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. I hope maybe it helps you save injuries or maybe even life having this information and being able to get timely advisories from the National Weather Service through the NOAA Weather Radio with SAME capability. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate that as we build this channel together. Take care and be safe.